So, let's talk zucchinis. Right behind me, I've got a pretty healthy looking zucchini plant that we put in the corner of our square foot gardening bed. Uh, one of the beds anyway. And, and you can tell it's, it's pretty green, looking pretty good. It's got a little bit of that milky residue that is very common uh, to zucchinis. You, you kind of want to try to treat it if you can so that it doesn't spread to other plants and make it unhealthy. This plant actually did a little bit of a comeback. Uh, it was not looking too good and we, uh, we read up on some tips, gave it some more calcium, and, uh, and learned a little bit about how to properly trim the plant to keep it healthy. Uh, I want to share those tips with you right now and uh, I'll let you know a little bit about how, the, uh, how they, these plants get pollinated and, and what to do with them if you're noticing that uh, you don't have good pollination. First tip, I want to take us right on in here to the stems of the plant. And I want you to notice that the stems are pretty clean all the way up to the point where we're growing the vegetables. Okay, we got a couple zucchini up there. And you'll notice there's only a couple leaf stems that are connected below it. Same thing on this one. I've got a zucchini hiding down there and some more popping up, but there really isn't too many stems coming uh, further down the, the main stem that goes into the ground. The, uh, what we've been told, and so we've tried this and it really has helped the plant, is that you want to trim off those leaf stems as the zucchini keeps growing higher and higher. Uh, if you're not, then the plant will redirect resources and those lower level plant uh, leaves are not really needed and they're just taking up water from the zucchini that do need it. So keep trimming it and as you trim them, you'll find that the inside of these stems is pretty hollow. They're, they're really kind of a hollow tube or straw like structure. Um, so when you trim them, you want to make sure you trim close enough to the edge to where there is no hollow tube showing that's connected. Otherwise, bugs will get into those little tubes and make homes of them and it'll be bad for the plant. So that's tip number one, keep your zucchini plants trimmed. Okay, tip number two has to do with pollination. You will see that these two zucchinis right here are pretty small. Let me put my hand up here for comparison. Really not too big of a zucchini. And sadly, this one does not look like it's going to get bigger. Uh, if they zucchinis get about this size and they just stay this size, it means they did not get pollinated. There is a very small window, probably about a day, where the flowers are actually open on the end of the zucchinis. If they do not get pollinated, they will not grow bigger, and you can simply cut them off. I've, uh, I've read that some people eat them, even at that smaller size, but I've also heard they can kind of be bitter. So we don't really eat them, we just cut them and get rid of them. When we cut them, we tend to cut them right about here and then let the uh, let them move along. So this one, I believe is a little bigger, it looks a little wider at the top. It may have gotten pollinated, but we'll find out soon. And then right down here on the other plant, this one is actually looking a little bit longer today, pretty healthy. I'm thinking we actually got this one pollinated, so we could have a good size zucchini coming off there. Now, how do they get pollinated? Clearly that's an insect or plant where you have uh, bees, ants, even there's a lot of ants on these plants that will transfer pollen from one flower to the other, but you need a male flower. Okay, the zucchini have are, are the female components to a zucchini plant, the, the vegetables themselves. The flower on them is the female. So, where is the male? If we get a little closer in there, you'll see that some of these, here's one, just have a stem. Whereas this one starting right back here, this looks like it's gonna be a zucchini, it's a little thicker. So that's gonna be a female. This thin with, with thin one that only has a stem and then a flower, that's your male. And so having the timing right to when you've got open male flowers and open zucchini flowers, it can get a bit tricky. So the big suggestion there is have more than one zucchini plant, preferably have about four zucchini plants if you can or more. That way you've got a lot of flowers on different plants nearby and you'll have bees going back and forth between them and you'll seriously increase your ability uh, to, to pollinate more of the vegetables and get a higher yield. So that's it for today's zucchini tips. I hope you found them helpful, especially if you're just getting into gardening and, and running into some questions about how zucchinis work and what's going on with these little tiny zucchinis. Um, it's not that they're tiny, it's that they didn't get pollinated. You kind of got to have more plants to encourage them to get a little bit freaky. You know what I mean? Because 
That's that's how the that's how they get pollinated. That's plants plants can be a little bit R rated, if you will, and uh, and the zucchini is definitely one of those. So uh, go ahead, get multiple zucchini plants, keep them trimmed, give them calcium. You'll find videos out there of people actually crushing up tums, sprinkling it around the base of the plant and watering it just to give it more calcium. They love calcium. Okay, we are back at our zucchini plant and it's only been like less than a day. But once the zucchini has started growing, if it does get pollinated, you'll see growth pretty quickly on the vegetables themselves. If you come back day to day and the zucchini really hasn't changed in size or width at all, probably didn't get pollinated. The great news here is that a couple of our zucchinis actually did manage to get pollinated. Let's take a look at the ones that worked versus the one that didn't. Okay, so looking back at these two from yesterday, we can tell that this one here, really nothing's happening. It's the same length. You see next to my finger, that's little. This one over here, though, we're getting a bit more width up top. It's got a little bit longer. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be a good zucchini. If we bring the camera over here, we see this one down at the bottom has really gained in thickness and is getting longer. Uh, putting my hand up here, we can see that it's, yeah, it's, it's getting bigger. So this one we're going to let grow. It's going to do well. Uh, it's going to be a zucchini that we can cook up later on. That one might as well. This one, yeah, we got to get some scissors out and take that off right about there. And uh, we'll try with some of the newer ones coming up. So that's how you can tell if the zucchinis themselves got pollinated and are getting bigger. Again, big tip here, you're going to have a really hard time getting the zucchinis to pollinate if you have just one or two plants. You need more. We've planted three additional zucchini plants just to help keep up with all of the small zucchinis we've been losing. Okay, so clearly we can see the difference between a pollinated zucchini and a non-pollinated zucchini. Uh, they just don't get very big when, uh, when they don't get pollinated. Like I said, some people still might eat them. We've heard conflicting reports, so we're kind of steering clear. This one though, that is a big zucchini, and we are in good shape with that one.